hope you're having an awesome day. I'm Sharon with Extendly, and today we're going to be talking about another snapshot feature update to our ultimate snapshots. So if you're not familiar with our snapshots yet, I would go ahead and go to our website, getextendly.com. Go ahead and take a look at the snapshot store. And here you can learn about all of the different types of snapshots that we have to offer, what's in them. And then you can go on to any of these and pick which one that you know would best fit for you if you're looking for a snapshot that you want to install into your clients accounts but we highly recommend our ultimate small business snapshot it's one of our best-selling snapshots it's universal it works for any niches and really gives you that base set of automations that you need to, to get your clients up and ready and started with go high level in as little as a day so enough about that but the feature update that we're releasing is all about refund and cancellation requests, especially if you're an SaaS, if you're a SaaS agency, this is an important feature to have. So I'm sure uh, all of you SaaS agency owners and your clients out there have gotten requests where they want to cancel their services or their subscription, right? So we need to have a good, easy, automated way to take care of that. So things like this are not, you know, these admin type of things are not taking up your time. So next time when you get a message saying something like, hey, I want to cancel or I want to refund, you can pull up this template and it's in the it's going to be one of the first ones in the email templates and you go ahead and click on use template here we've written out a nice message you know to first gather feedback because that's super super important whenever somebody wants to cancel your services or would like a refund you want to know why they're choosing to leave so that you know you can either try to save that client or at least you'll have feedback to improve your services in the future. So that's always super valuable. And then what this form is at, what this email is asking them to do is go ahead and submit their request into a form and it lets them know that it's going to take, you know, four or five business days and that they can also check out your return policy, which is also templated in here into the snapshot. So when they click on and then just go ahead and send away and you know you're, you're good to go there when they submit this form i mean when they open up that link it takes them to this page where their details are auto populated all they have to do is explain why they're requesting a refund and here they can upload any receipts files or photos to document their their refund once they go ahead and submit that then it triggers off um a few messages to the internal team it adds the the that customer to a refund request pipeline and it sends internal notifications to the team to let them know that hey you got somebody that wants a refund and this is their message why they want a refund and then the internal team they would open up to you know efficiently handle that refund we've uh, um, implemented a status update form so these status update forms are included within all of our snapshots we use them in different ways but they really help to streamline the steps and procedures within a work process without having the client to without requiring the user to come into high level so for example here uh, when a refund request, uh, when when somebody submits this form that we have, then the user, the agents, and the user of this account is emailed and texted this form to fill out. And here we're asking about the status of the refund. What do you want to do? Have you reviewed and refunded them already? Do you want to decline this refund or do you want to require a, few, a bit a bit of an additional information from the client? So that requires additional information, asks the client to hop on a call with you, which we, depending on your industry though, but we do recommend that you have kind of an exit meeting with your with a client that wants to refund or cancel their services because one it may give you an opportunity to save them from canceling secondly if they do definitely do want to cancel then at least you're able to talk to them face to face and leave off on good terms and you know you you may even um get some really good feedback from that client who's leaving
So requires additional information, ask for them to hop on a call with you to process the, the refund. And all of that messaging, if you're curious about, you know, what happens when you select each of those stages is within this workflow. So when a refund is approved, we're just sending them a quick message saying, all right, you know, your refund has been approved. It'll appear in your account four to five business days. If it's been denied, it redirects them to the return policy to see why it, and the reason it may have been denied. And then this is the refund in process. So like I was saying before, it asks you to schedule a call to discuss the experience and process the ref refund. So those are the three options that are the three options that you have to update the status of a refund and then what is the total amount you're refunding that's for you internally to keep note of and also when the refund is approved we are letting them know that okay this is the amount that was refunded so once you click to update that status it triggers off all the appropriate messaging that's required to uh, within the next steps and last thing we've included here is a money back guarantee and ref refunds and returns policy. So every every co company needs something like this. We've put an awesome template in here for you and you know you would work with your clients or your clients would just go ahead and update this to make sure that it is applicable to their policy. So you've already got an awesome template in there. It just requires a little bit of editing to really make it yours. And you know this process of the of refunds and cancellations could take hours you know out of somebody's day but this way you know we've streamlined it we've put in the possible op possible options of what somebody can do when a refund is required written out all the templated emails and messages so all you really have to do is select one of these three options and make sure that you know you've actually refunded the money and it's all taken care of for you and you're the you know if you provide your clients with a good experience while exiting, chances are they won't talk bad about you. They will leave off on you with good terms and you know that's that's all that you can hope for at that point. So this is an awesome system to handle refunds and cancellation requests and it is available in our small business snapshot and any of our ultimate snapshots, especially for you SaaS agency owners out there. I can see this being super, super helpful. We use it internally within Extendly as well. And it is a awesome, awesome system that we've put together. So if you already own one of our ultimate snapshots, you'll already receive this update. And if you wanna make sure to that you're gonna receive that, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Um, otherwise, if you are interested in purchasing one of our snapshots, please go ahead and schedule a call with us and we'd be more than happy to talk you through our snapshots and see if one of them are a option for you. All right. Thanks everybody. Talk soon.